Hi, and welcome to the tutorial series for the MX200 Digital Readout by MetLogix. In this video, we will be looking at the procedure for probing features in the readout. We will also take a look at how to construct features, as well as how to delete features, and to execute a new part. For readouts that are mounted to an optical comparator measuring system, the system may be equipped with an optical edge detector. For systems with optical edge detection, the probe menu, accessed by pressing the probe button here, will give you access to the optical edge type probes, as well as the optical edge teach button. For this demonstration, we will simply be using the crosshair probe to probe our features. Probing a feature in the MX200 is quite simple. Simply select the desired feature type from the bottom toolbar using either the soft key or the touchscreen itself, and then enter points into the measurement either using the enter point button seen here, or by using the enter key on the keypad. Once the desired number of points have been probed, simply press the green checkbox to complete the measurement, or just press the finish key. Features probed or constructed in the MX200 will be added to the feature list, and while selected, their detail will be displayed in the main view. We'll go ahead and probe another feature. Press measure distance, enter the first point, and to the second point and finish. We'll go ahead and probe one more circle feature in order to take a look at the procedure for constructing a feature in the MX200. Constructing a feature in the MX200 is simple. Simply, Select the desired feature type for the construction. In this case, we're going to construct a distance between circle one and circle three. Press the green checkbox or finish to complete the distance construction. What you'll see in the feature stamp area is the construction itself, as well as the two parents that the construction was made from. For all constructions in the MX200 that have alternate subtypes, the Change Type button will be displayed in the bottom toolbar. For the case of a distance feature, this change type will cycle between the nearest distance, the furthest distance, and the default of the center distance. There are other construction types that also have subtypes. As an example, a line between circles 3 and and circle one has the alternate subtypes of tangent one and tangent two. It is also possible to perform a construction without using the touchscreen. We do this by using the construction button. I can go ahead and press point, and instead of using the touchscreen to designate the parent feature, I can go ahead and use the construction button at soft key position five. Once this is pressed, a small cursor will be added to the feature list, and I can use the arrow keys to identify the parent that I'd like to use. Once selected, the Enter button will highlight that feature, and Finish will complete the construction. In order to delete features from the feature list, we simply use the Delete Feature button located here at soft key position 6. Anytime you delete a feature, you will be presented with a confirmation dialog and press yes to proceed with the deletion. The new part button in the MX200 can be accessed by going to one of the alternate toolbar submenus. Here in submenu number one, we can see the new part button located at soft key position two. When pressed, we will be prompted for confirmation. A new part execution in the MX200 will clear the feature list and will also clear any part coordinates that have been set from a datum or skew operation. 
Thanks so much for joining.